Okay, so what I'm looking at, lads, okay, is just four out. So my left foot goes forward. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. You see, load to hip mobility, then go back. Good. 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 All right, go lizard this time so you're in your elbows. Okay, see if they Okay. All right, you're in the one. All right, so you're smoothing the ball. Okay, probably a different, a wee bit more different. All right, there we go. Good. Perfect. And back, try and go back. Well done. You have little races and stuff like that there, a good crack as well. Uh, next one, lads, straight the needle. For lot, you can see here, lots of hip mobility. Get your hand out like this and see if you can, anybody can push, put their hand to drill that through. Okay? Try and clasp your hands up and think. I'm as weak as anything at this. If you can really do it, put that knee up. Try and get them hands in underneath it if you can. If you can't, nothing wrong with it. Get through. Okay? There you go. Good lad. Perfect. Okay, this one can do it. You can do it the way back. Good. All right. Go on in. Show the rest of the coaches you can do it. All right. Okay. Okay, what's color thread the needle? Let's go. Good flexibility around the hips. Good. Let's go again. Perfect. Good lad. All right. Okay, we go to uh, get a partner. All right. This is called stubborn wee bar. Okay, so you know like a wheel bar is. Alright, so you're gonna carry you're gonna carry this man, what's your name? You know what You know just right now. Well, you can try to push this forward, but you're gonna go nowhere. Or sorry, you're gonna go forward, but you're gonna go left, right, really stubbornly, okay? Where you gonna go. He thinks he's gonna push me forward. Alright, so this here is good for some shoulder stabilization, alright? You can step down here. Alright? Ready? So your next you've got to be strong with the throw. Let's go. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Alright, stubborn wheel bar. Perfect stuff. Alright. So there's loads of shoulder stability walking that there as well. Grips, core exercises as well. Good control. We'll go with the. Uh, get a partner. Alright, you're probably playing your local rivals. We've got to get a wee bit of fire in after the. Uh, after the rock response. Just a full fight. I picked the weakest one here. <laughs> so, all your shoulders here. Alright. You're putting your left foot forward. Alright, now all the rest of the back hard as you can. You ready? You want to do it? Alright, just take your rest there. Okay, so I just say, once I say push, the other thing is we have to pull into it. So once I say pull, grab each other, the other one's trying to push You ready? Push! Good, push, 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 pull, pull, pull! Let's go, pull him, pull him, pull him! You gotta pull him back, you gotta pull him back! Good, push, push, push! Push! Up the push, up the push, up the push! Good, and relax, alright? Simple physical press and stuff, alright? Uh, what else do we have? Okay, simple, you probably loads of these stuff. Face attack where you, I grab your wrist, you grab mine. Alright, you're I'm trying to hit you, you're trying to hit me. Okay, we'll do that. Just grab an arm there. Alright. Ready? Okay, ready, let's go. Good, simple stuff. Good. Alright, relax. Alright. This time you've got a knee box, okay? So you have to try and clip the knee. All right, your partner, what's your head? Ready? All right, go. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. And relax. All right. Nearly there. Good. All right. We'll go with the uh, torch, the turtle, okay? So one partner going into this position here. Toes in. Make it strong. All right. So say, for example, you're down in that position. You have to really down in the knees as well. Good flat back, screw these into the ground. Your partner, I have to pull you anywhere you want. Pull you like this. Okay, he's gone. You have to stick to the floor, so you have to grab him, alright? So I can push you, pull you, grab him. Okay, he's not leaking any energy, alright? Try it. <laughs> Ready? Go! Pull him, pull strong, 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 stay strong, stay strong. Good, good, and relax. And up. Okay. And last one there, lads, okay, if you want to implement some footballs into your warm up and some do some core stability work. Uh, what do you have here? Work in threes, bring your ball out. Bring your ball out. Right, you're going to get into the plank position, okay? Let's go. <laughs> now, he's in a nice plank, good position, ready? This time you can have your feet a little wider, okay? Now, for a wee bit of fast feet, 
Me and you, you're gonna have the ball. All right. I'm gonna go fast speed in here. Bang. Quick hands. All right. So he's probably on the pre. You all right? Do that. All right. So again, coming from the wall drills. All right. So it's just you. Know, you one of the focuses of the session is to do as limited equipment as you can, so you use your, use your uh, lads, alright? Bang, 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 let's go! Alright, you can do it every way you want. Okay? You can do that. Take a rest. Okay? You can go down. Alright, you probably, for some box squats and stuff like that, up, up in the plank position. If you haven't got hurdles, use your partners, okay? So you can just go nice. Alright, Carl. Want to make it harder? Let's get on the knees. Alright, show, screw the hands on the ground. Hands up. Get the hands up as well. Okay, make it harder. Up across, okay. Simple stuff like that. Ball coming, alright. Maybe go into a block. You improvise what you can. Okay. Happy enough, folks? Any questions? Pleasure, folks. are probably frazzled with think well that's all uh, all video and I think we may cancel the rest of the sessions because we covered everything and everybody else will be all right but as you can see there starting off most of those lines will be in level one okay some will go two some will go three but you can see how you can make the progression very easy what what equipment did we need a couple of resistance bands a couple of other stuff is that so it's not rocket science but um, you can probably see now why Calvin are developing players and athletes and probably a lot of injuries cut out and that, that's why this man's at, at the forefront of it. Okay, so any questions you want to hit him with, make them as awkward as possible. I try to do this every session, these ways you know what's coming through and all. You have to be, you know, be progressive. So again, we're not looking for, we don't bore them with 12 reps, like, you know, nice and snappy and fast, you know, that is a, that's a Compound exercises, I think, need to be done. You're in that position every time you play, but you're right. Um, I know when the activate warm up, this man, you know, come on over. So all you're just going to, once you're here, all right, just push me, and you're down, and back up again. Okay, it's simple stuff like that. You can maybe push him to the side, and we're having to go down. That's in the activate warm up, but you have to just be as innovative as you can. Even just to even use your equipment, all right. You have to go for cones, whatever way you have to do it, all right. But again, there's so many lunges. There's reverse lunge as well, okay. There's twists, there's reaches across, things like that, just maybe add a different one in every session. But um, it's a good point you've made anyway. Something I'll think more about. Anything else? But the key thing is, folks, like you know, I was just sort of saying to one of the lads there, I wouldn't get hung up on the whole strength and conditioning thing like too much because um, it's a really easy environment for lads to be in. Alright? They look like Years ago, when I first went down to the cabin, they were walking around the schools with a Lucasade sport bottle, and there's my waddy in it or whatever. Now they're sort of walking around with a protein a shaker, and there's my, still my waddy on it, but it's more or less to say that here I'm lifting weights here, you know. From our point of view, we thought that we'll get them to move well, but these boys need skill. If you're in the gym environment two or four hours a week and you're in the pitch environment for two, you're in the wrong sport. Take up rowing or do something else that, 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 that takes up that environment. All right. What we do is see that we call it movement prep. We nail all the stuff, all our hamstring flexibility, all our lunges, all our hip mobility. Nail it there every session. All right, and then we're fine. Now, obviously, I've had a grind problems, massive in Gaelic games. I don't know what it is. Is it the tackling, the position boys are in? All right, we're trying to manage as much as we can. But um, again, we try and nail as much in the movement prep as we can. It's done every session. All right. Minivan works working really, really well. There's so many variables you can do that as well. But uh, what I would say is, if you're on a top end, if you're in a senior club or whatever, get them to the gym maybe one session a week, and then nail the rest of it in your warm up. Or have your five and five, already talks with Kaz and James. He's comes to the philosophy of movement. Like getting lads to move really well. And keep emphasizing movement, movement, movement. Stand through length, stand through length. Then they'll come in session, all right? We're getting good, okay, good bang for a buck at the minute. But it has to happen the whole way up. Uh, my role, I look after the 21s, the seniors. I don't have nothing to do with the minors. 
we had, we were banging into schools, schools were flying, all right. But now, I was sitting in the car last night and the county minor manager jumps in and says, our miners aren't fit. And I'm saying, like, sure, some Pat's Gavin playing the like, semi final in McCrory Cup for Junior College or in the final of an Ulster vacation thing. So I was like, are you mad? You know, like, these boys are playing, but he's looking to bang for their buck real quick. But there's a, a lack of communication between the schools and the county minor manager. And Marty wants this all an ego thing and they don't want to get involved. What happened is, say, for around the 21s this year, I've had lads in the squad for two years now, working away. Boys came out of the minor panel last year, and their, their movement is poor. They've missed a window of opportunity really early. And it's near enough I'm having to work, low, ha, ha, work really hard with them boys, and having a coach and eye on them all the time. So um, you have to limit and really spread your resources around your clubs. So if you're the manager, you're the coach, maybe you're leading the world, get somebody else to use their coach and eye. Well, that's stuff I think you just, it's very difficult to do it your own. It's very difficult to see everybody 30 men. Really have, have your own sort out, say, right, you're looking after this movement prep. I want you to really keep an eye on the lunge. You know, video them, you have your phone, all that stuff is really, really uh, important to get them to move well. I think, anyway, but hopefully, you've got plenty of activity out of that there. Anyway, I just, I'm sure that the rest of them are going to cover loads and loads and more, and they'll probably maybe have a different coaching style as well. So it's good to take that away as well. All right, um, Peter, just on behalf of everybody here, I'm GA, that's just a, a small presentation for your team. Yeah.